Alright guys, this video is how to become a good uh, visual effects artist or how to learn visual effects the right way. So first thing, you want to go ahead and uh, download the softwares um, and learn them pretty well. So if you have the money, get the free uh, paid software. If you don't have money, get the free software. Uh, let me cover the free ones first. So the free software is Natron. It's a French company. It's pr pretty similar to Nuke. So it's N-A-T-R-O-N. -N. So check it out, it's free. I'll be doing tutorials on those as well. Um, so Natron and Blender is a 3D software. I'm sure you know about that one already. So go ahead and get that, Blender. And GIMP, which is a free uh, photo uh, editor. Uh, pretty, it's pretty similar to Photoshop. So go ahead and get GIMP. And if you have the money, go ahead and get the uh, paid software. So Nuke, uh, Maya, and Photoshop. So cool. So learn the software, do tutorials, but that alone will not make you a good VFX artist. So to become a good visual effects artist, uh, you want to go ahead and do these other steps. So uh, number two is, so learn cinematography and photography. That's step number two, okay? Um, you basically have to uh, train your eye and get the experience under your belt and uh, learn photography and cinematography and lighting. Very, very important to become a good uh, visual effects artist and to be able to tell, uh, you know, what's a good VFX shot from a bad one, you know. Um, you can't become a good VFX artist without knowing photography, cinematography, and lighting. Very important. So um, I actually recommend some books on my website, so I'll leave a link below. Uh, just go to the cinematography section. I recommend two books on there. And uh, get yourself a DSLR camera and take it with you everywhere. So take your camera everywhere with you. Take pictures of different angles. Um, basically become a photographer, you know. You, and, you know, in that regard, you'll learn cinematography as well. Uh, if you uh, get a DSLR, start shooting, uh, start making little short films. Um, learn lighting. Um, just become really good at that and you will see that translates directly into VFX. Um, so, so get yourself a, uh, a nice lens, get a couple lenses, uh, experiment with different um, lenses, anywhere between like 16 millimeter all the way up to 300 millimeter. Okay, uh, my favorites to use are a 28 millimeter, uh, 35, uh, 50 millimeter, 85, um, and everywhere in between. But those are the most common ones. Uh, I use Nikon prime lenses. I use a Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, it's my favorite DSLR camera uh, right now. So uh, yeah, go ahead and get what you can. You could even go to Craigslist, get a used one. It doesn't matter. Just uh, start now. Get a camera um, and just start experimenting. Start taking a lot of photos everywhere you go. And um, you'll see, you'll become a better VFX artist as soon as you become a better uh, photographer and uh, cinematographer. Start shooting short films with yourself or with your friends or with your dog. And uh, make sure to do the third step. So the third step to becoming a, a better VFX artist or to learn visual effects in general is to learn uh, storytelling, uh, screenwriting, and uh, directing. So you need to learn how and why VFX um, makes a film better than it, than it could be without it. Um, take the great uh, sci-fi films, for example, like Aliens 1, Predator, uh, Jurassic Park. It, you know, everything is timed and, and story relevant. We see the big dinosaur, the T-Rex, at a very important moment in the story, you know. It's raining, the mood is just right. Everything's set up perfectly. Everything builds up, especially in Aliens. Go ahead and watch that if you haven't seen that. Um, it's not just a film full of visual effects. The VFX is there to serve the story. Okay, the story always comes first. And you need to uh, pretty much learn storytelling, writing, and get better at that. And uh, I actually have another video, How to Write a Screenplay. Uh, so go ahead and watch that one if you haven't seen it yet. And um, I actually have a book, How to uh, Write Better Screenplays as well. So uh, just look for the video, How to Write a Screenplay, that I made. And that'll help you become a better storyteller. 
And as a bonus, as like a fourth thing you can do to become a better VFX artist is uh, learn to draw. And if you can learn to paint, even better. But I think drawing is good enough. Just black and white pencil, or, um, even pen or gouache. Um, become a good artist. Learn how to draw. First thing, start with perspective, okay? 2D perspective um, and go from there. You know, that's very important for visual effects, perspective. You need to develop that as an artist and grow. So if you learn perspective, um, you know, especially for VFX shots, it's just really important, okay? So that's just a bonus, learning to draw. You don't need to learn, uh, know how to draw, um, but it's just a bonus. It'll help you as a VFX artist in the long run. All right, and to recap, so how to learn visual effects. Uh, basically, you gotta do three things. You gotta learn the software, okay? So, you know, the compositing software, either Nuke, Maya, and Photoshop, or if you want the free software, it's uh, Natron, GIMP, and Blender. So learn the softwares, learn the buttons, okay? Number two, you have to be learn photography and cinematography. You gotta basically be a photographer, cinematographer, Okay, take your camera with you everywhere, especially you go outdoors or cool or awesome events or or vacations. Take your camera. Start building your visual library. Okay, actually, I'm going to give you guys access to my visual library. Okay, um, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So, um, basically, just sign up for free, 100% free. I'm going to share with you all my photos that, that uh, I take. So, uh, go ahead and sign up for that. And uh, here we go, and that's pretty much it. So basically, learn photography, cinematography, uh, and uh, you know, as a bonus, if you want to learn how to draw. And uh, so to recap, you just want to practice, practice, practice. So open up your software on a daily basis. Take your camera with you everywhere. Uh, start writing some stories, some scripts, some short films. Make a little CGI short film for yourself, you know, learn the whole ins and outs process and it's going to help you as a VFX artist a lot. So, all right guys, leave questions and uh, comment below. Uh, what other questions uh, do you want me to answer? Go ahead and leave an uh, email, uh, filmarsenalcontact at gmail.com. All right, see you later.